kiss my heart, my kid, my kill that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about a nigga or a bitch. Step, step in my lane, they gon' throw you in the dick. I'm T, I'm T36, I'm from 4500. If I see the laws, goddamn right, I'm a gun it. I was just pumped, pumped. Post it up with the cane. Nigga, control your home and get this bitch out my face. I don't play, play, cause my time don't tip. You take my time is for weakness, blow up, blow up in this bitch. I'm knocking off liquor mix. What the fuck is a stitch? The fuck the fuck is a staple? I'm walking straight, drive fast. My spirit's the ghost that able. Bitch, I bitch, I do what I want. Cause I'm willing and able and I ain't sucking no dick. My own, my own damn label. And I, I sit serve, this ain't no goddamn maple. I take two Phillips from Java and push this bitch to your label. Nephew of Gallon Wayne, please understand. When you take it there with me, I'm not a horny man, man. I'm like God. That afternoon. I spoke to the ISIS's first. What's up, folks? What's up, folks? What's up, folks? What's up, folks? Fix this shit. I thought I'd get it bigger. As they told me, I can make it bigger. Good with y'all today, man. Man, I'm having a Jesus moment, y'all. And what's crazy about having a Jesus moment? When you used to be fly, not come on spirit fly, but I'm still flying. Spiritual correction, or that spiritual correction connection. Oh man, y'all, yo. yo. I, I I don't know to begin. <coughs> I bought more than water. Okay. <coughs> Let me see what y'all see real quick. See, we get a few people in real quick, see what's going on. Right now, I'm looking at International Criminal Court Team Business Area of Damn Breach. Jesus moment. Yeah, what's the Jesus moment, y'all? I want to read some scriptures with y'all, man, because some ain't right, niggas. Because there's some shit I didn't ask for. I ain't got no, I, I ain't got that, my, my swag is gone. My shit gone, man. Mojo gone. And what's crazy is I felt it leaving over the years too. Like, like this. 
when I was guilty of being out in them streets like that, when I was guilty, uh, yeah, when I was guilty, man, I had so many lies for your ass. You know, I'm amazed how fake I was trying to be uh, a hipster, you know. I realized how inhumane I was prior to when I just, just yesterday, but like I had some epiphanies, but like the solidification Cause I'm really, I'm really trapped in time right now. I'm literally trapped in time cause it's like my physical shit. I can go ahead and get it, no problem. And as I'm talking, as I'm as I'm controlling my body functions, my flesh. Cause they say the flesh rules the spirit, or the spirit rules the flesh. With the flesh, my flesh and spirit don't war no more. I'm already knowing. I said, okay, flesh, you got three hours to get this money. Then we, then we take it over. The first 20 minutes, I got a new case, and I ain't did shit yet. How I know? Because it's going to take me another 30 minutes to get to the case, you know, get to my, you know what I mean? And when I do it, no sooner as I walk away to go buy what I got the money for, I'm on my way on a new case or something. It's like, it's like clockwork for me. I don't, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about my experiences, man. And it never fails. Never fails. Never fails, man. That's why I don't pay attention to the flesh. That motherfucker get me in trouble. Every time I let my flesh do what it want to do, it could be for one second or for one week. And my whole, I got to spend the, that whole year cleaning that shit up in the spirit. Because I got to tame the body. I got to submit, I got to bend the body backwards into a pretzel, sit it the fuck down so I can use the spirit body to fix the shit and tell, tell the real self, now listen. What's the last? What's the last time you backed up off? You went on autopilot and let your body do what it wanted to do. And I had that moment just now. I had a, I had I had a super ego moment, y'all. A super ego moment. Where it's like, okay, the spirit's not here. It's nice outside. God's with me. Yeah, I mean, man, my flesh is talking shit. Sound like the devil and shit sometimes. And Satan. And some of you niggas. All that. No, I mean, you, you sound familiar. I know you. I ain't listening to you. And as soon as I said I ain't listening to you, man, my whole energy got sad. My body started aching. Start crying and shit. I started having body issues. <laughs> it was like my spirit body, my body and shit. You know what I mean? I know what I mean by your old body, my. I just, I don't know. I used to play songs. I fucked it up. Yeah, I don't Who was the other hurt piece? I'm poor as hell, man. It's like 
I've always had a fucking money tree. For the first time in my life, I don't have a money tree. This is so fucking humbling, y'all. For the first time in my life, I can't use my willpower to go get punk ass dollars. And they say that I can't go get a dollar or make a dollar. It just what I'm used to the ways that I'm used to go go to go get a dollar or two or three or four or a whole bunch. And they ain't in me no more. If that's what they mean by transfigurized and reborn and resurrected, it's awesome. Yes, it is. But as long as you're in this motherfucking body, you it's going to be rough. And now I understand why the prophets and everybody was like, I don't give a fuck if you kill me. I want to be here anyway. And I'm getting to that point now. I'm getting to that point where I think I'm ready to die. I, I, I don't have no purpose here. Y'all won't contribute to the life-saving information in the 20 hours, 20 years plus sleepless days that I spent collecting this information. So when you needed somebody to talk to to get the truth, I could have it, give it to you. And if I was ever in need, I could ask you like you, you know, and I can't get nothing from nobody on this planet for some reason. And so it's like, as I'm speaking this video, I don't think I want to be here, man. And if I got to stay here, I'm just going to tell you what the most I want me to say. And I'm going to shut down and fuck all of you in this world, man. And it's not because this pif not epiphany, but the situation today, or it was lately, but it just... I never liked this fucking place in the first place. Because everybody owned the shit that they wasn't born with and wanted to charge me for shit that's not even theirs either. So what I want to be around on a place, on a planet, or a level of existence where everybody that think alike. I know I'm not you. I see that I'm not you, I feel that I'm not you, and my spirit tells me I'm nothing like you. No, really, I like, part of my mission was one, after I got the knowledge for myself to save myself, once I got my new name and my prophecy instructions, I had the option to not talk to y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know that. I had an option So when I went up to the seven hills of the gods and I made it to the seventh mountain and I'm by myself and there's no money, you ain't there, no badass kids, no pesty ass woman, 
no pink panthers, no kids, goats, none of this human stupidness, in fact, what no human is, just me. And I'm kind of regretting I even fucking came back. Straight up. I, I'm kind of regretting that I even fucking came back. Yo, you know, what the, you know what the most hurting part about this? Because I, I really need my pain medication. I'm not hurt like a motherfucker now. But this is what I know for sure. I can leave out this door right now. Right now. And somebody will give me a hundred dollars worth of motherfucking narcotics and say, get on your feet. And yes, I'll be able to triple it and all my problems will be over. But that's in my mind, right? Because in my brain, I'm like, mention the mission accomplished. Then my brain goes ahead and I got to the money. I got this. Everything that my body want, my brain say, okay, we cool. But my soul is dejected. Because now I got to hear y'all mouth say, hmm. Hmm. Now we got to go to the clock to the destiny, huh? Y'all go in there, y'all get on your phones, and y'all start checking out records and doing some surveys. Anybody? Well, this time in seven months, your time is out. Because you spent all them years, like you said, and you was doing awesome shit, but you failed when you decided that you... Let your flesh and your brain take you backwards into hell, and you thought this was a swinging door. Yep, that's the setup. What that is right now, spiritually. I'm well, too advanced in that. So I'm flipping it to, I know I go out there and get a thousand right now. I, I know every fucking body in the world. If I go back to my old self, and I can call it all these all these beautiful women down here who is easy, I can put on my fake my fake face mask, fake gear. I got enough expensive cologne, enough expensive looking shoes, and I can put on this mask, this facade. I can get in here, make this video, talk shit. Yeah, y'all. Uh, and y'all know as soon as I turn this bitch up, this nigga fake as hell, and he going out there to go abuse somebody's trust. Shit like that. Shit that I was, I didn't, I didn't think about it because I didn't care for real. See, people don't think about shit that they, they, don't, they don't care about. If you care about something, it'll cross your mind. It goes zip. Say, hmm, what the fuck is that? You see a small piece of what you cared about, man. That's your spiritual Uber. <laughs> Zip. Yeah, that's your spiritual zippy car. Zip. Hey, what's that? Fuck that. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dejected from the world, man. I'm cool with it. That went outside, man. I'm like, yeah. We'll go out here. It's, I'm just doing fair trade. I need my medication. Somebody wants some water. 
Medication and water is like the same thing for trade and barter, right? Cool. Cause I, I don't have I don't have the hustle in me. I don't have it in me no more. I don't. I'm trying, niggas. I'm trying. I'm trying. It ain't there. And that's why I'm happily sad. Straight up. It's like I'm pissed off so much. But this much as I'm pissed off, I'm relieved. I don't need a therapist for that. I need a motherfucking sack of weed. Two dollars for a butt. I don't need to get nobody uh all my time. You know what I mean? Well, you don't. We don't need to go. Cause you people, you people, you people, you people, too many people keep saying therapist, therapist. And if you went to school to be a therapist, no problem. But I think that's one of the biggest scams in academia, therapists. Because you go down the street and talk straight to all your problems, and you'll find out one drink or no drink, just telling a stranger is a whole lot cheaper. Go to the therapist, give you that motherfucking bill. Yeah, you're going to need some more therapy. You're gonna need some fi you're gonna need some financial help. See the whole Everything is a gambit. Everything leads you to something else. Always. There is no quick fix to uh life's uh card games. No ain't no ain't no life card game. I'm serious, I'm excited, man. I even got some stuff that I could sell. You know, and I'm like... It's all gone. All gone. All gone. Yeah. Yup, the mojo, the street mojo gone, y'all. All the street shit gone, the hood shit gone. You see, you can't take, you take the nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga. Ah. Uh, hey, that's a lie. I'm letting you know. I ain't in the hood. And I'm trying to use hood tactics in this environment. And... I'm drawing blanks, and I'm good at create. Fuck! Oh! Oh God! Damn, my water was good. Oh my God. We got to read some shit about Jesus, Mom. I'll we'll, we'll get the red letter script too, man. Cause I, I got to read this shit. Cause I read it a whole bunch of times. I mean, I'm not stupid. I know the damn book shelf. But what it don't say is when you actually live a lot of stuff in that book. That part that you don't hear at the pulpit. You hear all this extra other shit except for the results when they start living exactly not what Jesus said, but what God said. <clears throat> because whether Jesus is real or not, he just said, follow the prophets. And I did that. I'm not about you. I don't know about you.
the red letter Bible for Jesus. I want to read the Red Letter Bible.
I just picked up. Uh, this is some bullshit. Yeah, oh. I, don't the whole, I don't know why I just put the fucking whole book on there. Damn. <sighs> book, mother. Here, how about that? Look for that. Shit. Of course, oh, you think they want to get something smart to say or some shit. And it's not even a red letter. It's not even a fucking red letter. written letter three times and still ain't got a written letter. Except for the fucking never mind. I'm gonna use the fault language for no reason. Alright, where am I at with this? That's because my butt hurt man. I'm not so much pain, man. That's ridiculous. <sighs> that niggas wanna hurt me and shit, man. I'm ready to go fuck somebody up, man. Let them, let them take let them trade this pain, man. Serious man, y'all y'all don't know, man. Just thinking about somebody wanting to hurt me hurts, man. Y'all don't understand this shit, man. Really, y'all just don't. Well, first think this is a fucking game. And it's taking, it's making me more tired not to go out here and hunt you niggas down so you don't have to hunt me down. Real shit. It's, it's taking a whole lot not to hunt you down. You ain't even got to come look for me. Or you just let me, who you, let me know who you is and we can meet. I'm in pain every day, all day. I win. I'm just letting you know, anybody who did they want to put their hands on me, want to beat me the fuck up, only reason why, bullshit, only reason why, a lot of y'all is alive and I let shit slide, it's because I'm tired of niggas telling on me when you bitch ass niggas is wrong. And I'm tired of sitting in jail for protecting my fucking life. But let's you know in this world, I ain't got no life. So, I better find some way to do what I can do to make sure that when I do do what I need to do, it's going to be righteous. And when I do die doing it, I'm cool. So as soon as I figure that shit out and I get locked in, yeah, it's just going to be different. Motherfuckers are left now, disrespect me, call me out my name. I'm going to continue on putting out this information for those who really need it. And those who probably would help, you know, help their brother out. Not some nigga, but their brother out. You know what I mean? No problem. So I'm going to still do that for you. Because I know if you had it, you would. But the rest of you, I hope you fucking choke trying to do it. Love ain't in you, truth ain't in you. And for the record, who's ever watching this, do not go on my DM or in my inbox and ask me to buy shit. I ain't got no fucking money. Alright? I ain't buying shit. Got family members and fake ass niggas because they outnumber me and got more money than I got and resources. I can't go down here and track niggas down and blah blah blah. They got lawyer money, I don't.
King James. Natural life. We got nine. Genesis. I'm book now nah, I'm done. Let's see the shit. Is y'all reading this? Hereby ye shall be proved. Stop. I'm being proved right now at this situation. By the life of Pharaoh, you shall not go henceforth. By the life of Joe Biden, you shall not go forth. Except your youngest brother. Now therefore not grieve, nor angry with yourselves, that you sold me, you sold me into this situation. Okay, I can admit that today. Sold me into a situation. Rob still set me up, I got you. This is Joseph talking. Joseph is saying, you got to be proved, black man. And by the life of your president, Biden, you shall not go forth. Biden is still alive. Except your youngest brother, black man, come here. Who is the youngest brother of the African-American? If the African American was an older brother, and the African American woman was the older sister, who would be your who would be your baby brother? Thus says the Lord. Who would be your baby brother? If King Joseph under Pharaoh says, hey, by the life of Pharaoh who I serve on earth, you should not go forth. Cause fucking with Pharaoh, he ain't fucking with you. Except you give me your baby brother. That sounds like a Pink Panther moment. It do. Egypt said, to Joseph, you niggas, your, your people ain't going nowhere unless you bring me your youngest brother. Who was Israel's youngest brother? Who was Judah, Judah's youngest brother of the 12 tribes? Benjamin. So who's the youngest brother of the 12 tribes of Israel? Where is Benjamin, Judah, Reuben, Issachar? Where is my little brother, Benjamin? 
where is he at? Right? Because now as it go further, Genesis 45, 5. Now therefore, be not grieved, black man or white black man or black woman, nor angry with yourselves. Because you sold me here in the situation that I'm in. Y'all did this with your black history, your black culture, your black way of life, and your black lazy lifestyle. Obsidian Black, I think, or Mystical. She's from the Caribbean Islands. She's a card reader. That's where I got down black, Lizzie. Oh, man, she's a firecracker. Like, big ups, sis. Big ups, big ups. Um, and to all of our Ferrari, I'm saying Ferrari, not as an Italian Ferrari, but the far Aryan, as an Aryan, far Aryan. Because far means you have to be vast. You have to start from here, and down here is far. So to say a far Aryan is not a small thing. If you want to go far, you got to plan for that. And if you want to go to a far Larry, a far, uh, a, a farian country, your mind, body, and soul have to have left the short version of life and arrived in your far state of mind. I want to say big ups to them, to my farians. Because so you look up Rasta or Rasa, it means to erase your farian. So, Rastafarians, look up who gave you the ancient classical word Rasa, means to erase or erase, or if you put a T to it, it's called Rasta. Race or Rasta, the Farians. Rastafarian, erase the Farians. Because you are a same blooded, but not a species, but a clan. All right, what a clan. So now I'm looking for my, as my Farians in the Carb or the Carolinas or the Carolina Islands, where that was called the Carolina, North Carolina and what? America. See, North Carolina and Caroline or the K A L I N A, it's the same people that you call uh, Jamaican or Yamericans. That's what you would call, that's what you, what do you would call yourself? A Yamerican. Not a Jamaican, but a Yamerican. Because you always say, yeah, yeah, right? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Yamerican. Because why? Everything we, you, we say and after and in between, we always say, yeah. Let's do go. Go talk to your fan right now if you're from Jamaica or you're in Jamaica or you know. Talk to them, you're here there. You're making it. And they're copper and red like us over here. But we're all on the same land. So it says now that you sold me, right? For God didn't send me before you to preserve your life, which I said before I did this. I said, I'm upset because I'm in the land of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh runs the shit. So there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Track because I was other shit on TV with my mind off. Of so, what did Joseph come to do? Preserve. The 
can to preserve God's words. So, I come in that spirit and say, look, I want to come preserve our souls, change. But it clearly said that God sent Joseph by the way you treat me like shit to preserve your life. So I ain't mad no more. I'm not dejected with y'all no more. Because God got me here in this situation to reserve y'all life. Deuteronomy 32, 4, 7. For it is not a vain thing for you. Yes, Father. Because it's your life, right? It's your life, family. It's not a vain thing for you. And through this thing, right, this vain thing, and through this thing, you should not prolong your days in the land. Oh, shit. Whether you go over the Jordan to possess it. So, for it is not a vain thing for you, because it's your life. And through this thing, you shall prolong your days in the land, whether you go to possess it. So, for what is that vain? What is he talking about? Four chapter. Mm. Verse of the film. Oh, it's 32, verse 47. Uh, full chapter. Alright, let's we'll go up. Okay, so, this is the most hot talking. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold of judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and reward them that they hate me. Okay, Father, you got that. 42. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. What's the most high's arrows? The enemies of those the enemies of the enemies of God. They kill each other. So we see a black man on black on black crime with drunk on blood. My sword shall devour the flesh. Well, we know the ink pen is the new sword. And the last time I got my flesh devoured, I was in ACJ for a crime I didn't commit. And my motherfucking skin started bleeding. Here falling out, I was mad as hell. I'm cool. Two main things that made me get the fuck off the streets. Smelling niggas ass and feet after a hoop game and working out all day. I said, at this rate, it's gonna turn me gay. Somebody have ass smell 
for the majority of my life. I ain't gonna know what no coochie smell like. But see, it's just me and it's got more you. my experience. And this shit like clockwork, y'all. Yeah. What's an anime show? Oh, it's with the anime on. And that with the blood of the slain. And the captives, and from the beginning of the rip, beginning of revenges upon the enemies. I will make my arrow drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour the flesh, and with the blood of the slain and the captives from the beginning of, re of revenges and upon the enemies. Rejoice United Kingdom Rejoice United States Rejoice United Arab Persia Rejoice With his people Rejoice with his people, with the people of the Most High, O oh, you nations, rejoice with his people. Why? For he will avenge the blood of his servants. Who's that? The Most High. He will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. So, according to the book of Deuteronomy, Jesus never said he come and save the world. Jesus' orders was not to do none of that shit y'all talking about. God said, right? For the Lord shall judge his people, not Jesus, and repent himself for his servants. Uh, I understand that. So I don't understand that. Why would God need to repent himself? I don't understand that. So that's some bullshit. We'll keep reading, though. Mm -hmm. 
That word don't sound right. When he see that his power is gone and there is none, shut up or left. He shall say, where are their gods, their rock, and whom they trusted? So right there, God is saying, where is your God, Jesus, this, that, your rock of salvation that you trusted? Where? See, because my name is Hosea Omar, which means salvation. And I type in Yah, you. Why? Because it's Yah, you are my salvation. Yah, you are our salvation. And Yah is the only God of our salvation. So right there, and he shall say, where is their God? Where is your Jesus at? Where is all these people at now? We did eat what? The body of Jesus, of their sacrifice. You drank the blood, the wine, of their drink offerings, right? Let them rise up, uh-oh, resurrection, and help you, black man. So 2,000 years, Jesus died, raised up, came back. Well, he said, they didn't raise up and help you, and Jesus ain't helped you yet. And be what? Your protection from homelessness, degradation, and police brutality. In fact, you got niggas in office right now can't write three pages on why they should not kill a black man. And we know they can read because the Bible clearly states they're not killed to kill your brother you not rob, steal, the whole nine. But yet, in the entertainment world, all races, all nations are doing the total opposite. So the question is, who's this talking? Verse 39. Right here. Turn the TV out. This took me off my shit. I'm gonna stay focused here. Now see that I, who's that? Jesus or the Most High, the E Y E. I would be a man. The E Y E would be Most High's creation. So he says, see that I, one, even I, two, and he told Moses, am he. Who is am he? Matter of fact, let's find out what am he means. Why do the English language use and shit? Shit. What was it? Am he? Which 
What do am he means in a sentence? According to dictionary.com, a friend, especially a male friend. Am he in a sentence? According to Miriam Webster, the sun's heat melted the snow. The intense heat of a fire she applied heat to the sore muscles in her leg. A period of high heat and humidity the... So, am he is what? Yah, your God. I, I am, da da da, is not Jesus. And it says, See now, I, you take the letter I, you put the E-Y-E -E there, now you know it's a pineal gland. Even I, even, <clears throat> I'm balanced, I'm perfect, even, there's another I. So now you got two eyes on the situation. He says, see now, he says, look at me. Look at my eye, my EYE. What's on my pineal gland? You know what's on my pineal gland when you see through my eyes. Okay? Now, even I. Now, now after you've done that, now you've, became, you've come up with a, a psychological report that now that it's even with your psychology. It's even with your existence because now you find the truth and what the now I and the even I now he's telling you what the I is am he the I is he the EYE the primal life not in the egg but in what the sperm so God is not a female. And he's not a male. But that which gives life the power to determine what is, what isn't, what should, what shouldn't be a man or a woman who's going to rule over the male-female kingdom. But since you want to be a black male or black female, you're in a lower, lower, low, low kingdom. You're talking about levels of the shit. So since I'm on a higher level than you, that means I'm better than you at, at a lot of shit. That means I know some shit that you don't know. Why? Because I know who God is. Yala. And there is no God with me. So, there we go right there. So that makes me a Hebrew Muslim. Abraham, Muhammad, Noah, all the prophets. I'm lined up with them. Then he says this to, to me. And all the prophets confirm. He says... I kill E Y E nine perfect. I make it live. So there goes the author and the creator of what's best position when you decide what's good and evil. So before I tell you my situation is good or evil, I'm just gonna bitch a little bit, and then when I get to when I get to something like this, he lets me know. I'm in control, son. I'll say this, Father, I know. 
I'm just tired of being in this little ass room and bagging people. I mean, and I'm having the thought. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm having to ask people for shit when I'm used to getting it myself. But what well, this came to me a download while I'm going through this. And I made a major mistake. I think this is why I lost my wife. Matter of fact, this is how I know I lost my wife. I took the attribute of my family. They, they work more than they love. Why? Because the fear of being poor and broken, and homeless, and without. That's a strong ass. Because when they say love, can't get me no motherfucking money. Well, it can, but not in the black world. And since we've been raised to be black people for 400 years, it ain't in you to do nothing but what? Work and do shit without love. But if you get a chance to, you show some hope of love in it, but it don't last that long. So now he says, I kill, I make it live, and like Dick is hit, I trick his said sore hip versus hip, back, neck. <laughs> Come on, wrestle with an angel. That nigga wrestle with one. I think I wrestle with about 15, 20 of them bitches. But probably wrestle with one now. With one now. He's saying, here's a, here's, a heavy, here's a heavy hitter right here in blue. He said, check this out. You can go in your flesh, right? He like this. You can go in your flesh if you want to, right? And make all the money that you want. But at the beginning of the day, I still kill. And you go out there and think you can do, and you feeling good, and you got everything you want. I still make a laugh. You go out there and be all healthy and work out, thinking you the shit. I still won't. <laughs> and you're thinking you're the reason why you got those beautiful kids and, and children, rather, excuse my language. Since you think you're the ones, the top dog, since you're the one that know what's best for my life. You the one that knows what's best for other people's lives, and you you know. But you're nonetheless, Moses says, I'm the one that heals. But here's the PowerPoint. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. Not Jesus, not Satan, nothing. Who's going to deliver you out of his hands? Only way. You can think 
You out of the most house hands. As you say, you know what? I'm going over to uh, Lucifer. But that's worse. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and reward them that hate me. We got that. So all those that hate the Most High and His elect, what do He say? He'll reward them with the same hate. So we go to 48, 46. 46. He said to them, what? Set your heart on all the words. Not only 66 books. He didn't say set your heart on 66 books. But set your hearts unto all the words which I testify. Who's I? Again. So what the I, what the what the what the most I tell Moses' name was? He. Now, let's find out what he meant by that. He. What is the esoteric meaning of he? Now, we ask for what is the extra meaning for he, right? This idea is that man is a spiritual being. So, if you're looking for a man, he must be spiritual, not black. 
orange, green, or yellow. True? I get to sit up with this one. All right, one glass is there. Shit. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, so he said, he go, those who made nothing of internal truth, which means what? Spiritual. So she goat and nanny goat are men and women who what? Men and women who what? Made nothing of their spirit self with God, but, ex uh, but accepted money truth, external. You didn't mind your external hard drive being uploaded, downloaded, but your internal hard drive is corrupt. And this is what all the prophets came to say up until my day, because I'm a prophet. I swallowed the motherfuckers. They gave me uh, a scroll. I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, according to this, it says that the Hebrew letter represents all creation. Yeah, if you're a he goat or a she goat or a homokula, your own alphabet creates what? It's all in its own world. But it says nothing about the internal truths of the creation. Why? Because it clearly says external truths and what? The Hebrew alphabet letters are external and they represent a left of an essence of in all creation that are what? External truth. And that makes the Hebrew alphabet modern for he goats, she goats, masons, blah, 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 blah goes back to Babylon and what Bible was that say Jewish church so what does he The hospital and then get a family that got a mixture of both and you'll see that the most peaceful family is the one that had the baby at home the less argumentative family who keeps who has their mother and father at home but still go to the ship they stick to it 
This is the home that it has during before the sex and after the sex that they were still working on the oneness of the Most High. So they have a mediocre peace, but a dispute. But on the other hand, everybody that's been born in the hospital, that's black, has no love for their fellow man. Why? Because the devil took that baby from its mother and did something. And we ain't saying the hospital did nothing. It's the fact that somebody put in a book that when these women bring their babies to our facility, take them away from the mother quick. Do not let that baby know its mother for the first one minute. Because once the baby come out, you get, it got one minute to get its bearings to for all this supposed to be cling to it. Then the mother is supposed to be in there because now it's clinging from its mother's energy. Now it knows the dude, the dad comes in. Now he has the energy of creation. What's that? Man, woman, child. But this group here, born in hospitals, shit. They love being in hospitals. Wrap to y'all for a minute, man, before I close this. Future wife. Here's the issue. Future family in law, wherever you at. Here's the issue. My wife, Ronnie Lee Martinez. That was my buddy. Man. When I see she had a career, she had a daughter, she had her own life, and she opened the door by sending me a bus ticket. She didn't know me from a can of paint, y'all. All she knew is we was we, we vibed online. I met her online, too. We vibed online, right? And uh, I, for one, put in my heart. When this, when that lady, when this woman, fuck that lady, that woman sent me a bus ticket. That broke all co connection to my past. A Filipino Mexican woman from California who moved to New Hampshire. Changed her life to move to Florida. Shared her life with me, man. And I showed out. <laughs> yeah, and everybody thought that, that her family, her, even her whole family, because they thought I was black. Did the total opposite all up until she passed away. And I'm still going strong each and every day. And through her act of kindness, act of, through her act of love and trust in the Most High, I learned how to be a man in the spirit, flesh, body, mind, soul. I learned how to be the complete package man. Now I'm complete. I'm back in a incomplete situation because we have a bunch of wannabe spiritual men and wannabe spiritual wives and families. And shit ain't been right ever since. The shit has never changed ever since here in Pittsburgh. And I came back in 2005 and got the fuck up out of here. 
Now I'm back again because of my killed my family over money. I don't know what they did, why they did it, but okay. So I told you the story about how uh, I got up off my ass. This is before I got to security. I'm building customized gazebos for those expensive Chinese, Japanese fish, koi. And that part of the rest of history. But now we got our own place. I got about oh, 12 customized cars. I'm selling cars, buying cars. And because I never had shit, and I don't like being poor or without, because I've been here before, I took up some of the attributes of my family. But this is what caused me to work and chase money, chase this world, and chase everything as I lost my motherfucking wife chasing this world. This is my punishment. I know my punishment. My ego, my vainglory, all that. When my wife called me and said, I want to talk to you, come back. Because I was mad about my stuff. All my stuff and my money and everything gone kept me from seeing my wife and telling her I love her and I forgive her. But I was too angry, y'all. And for that, I was a piece of shit and I was preaching and teaching. And just that day, that ego moment was my karma. I survived my tired moment. I hope you can survive yours, whoever you may be. Yeah, I, I was a piece of shit, man, at that time. Because all I could think about was my stuff. But I forgot what drove her to this. And the fact is, I would tinker on my cars, my computers, night and day, nonstop, for weeks and years. And she want me to have sex with her because my wife. But I didn't have time. I'm going to uh, end this. Look at the gesture. This is thing. Uh, why do you take commandments in your, in your heart, man? Because that's the whole nature of the business. That's the whole nature of all the prophets is telling you to seek God with your heart. To live fat with your heart. On your heart. Because I am He. In the flesh. A spiritual man. I'm claiming that. I claim that. I am he that is spiritual. And I have a creator who is of the spirit. 
And then when you tap into the spiritual fatherhood or the spiritual Godhead, then you yourself can be the what? The modern I am. That's how fast the prophecy for us. The next time, I love y'all, man. I gotta take me a nap, man. I'm like drained. I'm like a lot of stuff is going on here. I'm sorry for the weak video today, man. I just so much is going on, okay? Love you guys, man. Peace.